Welcome back DIYers. So in your workshop, you're gonna have a whole slew of different measurement tools and most of the time they're pretty expensive. These, however, are on the inexpensive side and today we're taking a look at another inexpensive one. A digital thickness gauge made of carbon fiber composites. Fancy. As we can see here, it's made of extra strong carbon fiber composites. Okay, not as strong as steel, but whatever. Lightweight and durable to use, an eight millimeter LCD display, Suited for measuring the thickness of paper, film, wire, sheet, jewelry, leather, etc. And of course you can do all that stuff with just your standard calipers, but I'm going to show you in a minute why this thing has a few advantages. Here you can see a description of all the parts. That's kind of self-explanatory. Specifications, measuring range from 0 to 12.7 millimeters, or that's half an inch. Resolution is... 0 0.01 millimeters or a half a thou. Oh, that's pretty good. Accuracy is plus or minus four thou. That's actually not that great, but you know, this thing is plastic, so whatever. Basic little button battery and operating temperatures, oh, blah, 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 blah. And of course, basic instructions on how to use the thing. So what's so great about this thing? Well, first of all, it was only 10 bucks. You can't really get any kind of precision measurement tool for that cheap, so. We're going to find out if it's actually any good at that price. Pull the little tab out to release the battery. Let's turn it on. What? There's no battery in there. What the hell? Is this why it was only 10 bucks? Because they were ripping you off on a 50 cent battery? Maybe I can steal the one from the caliper here. And after cannibalizing the battery out of the calipers, it turned on just fine. And in case you're curious, it uses an LR44 battery. It's in millimeters right now. We can switch to inches. Now let me show you why this thing is actually kind of better in calipers in some respects. Huh? Look at that. You push this little lever down and then it goes right back to where it was. This basically makes it a speed measuring tool. <laughs> and you can kind of see it doesn't always go back to exact zero. After re-zeroing it and doing it several times, it seems to be working okay. This is one of the nice things about these digital measuring tools is that anytime they get out of balance, you just hit the zero button and it re-zeroes. If there's any wear like in the jaws, all you have to do is just hit zero and it re-zeroes. It's one tiny advantage these guys have over the purely mechanical ones. Now in what scenarios is this thing going to come in really handy? Well, we all have a box like this, don't we? And frankly, I have several. This is a box full of valve shims for Fiat's and Lancia's. And I need to be able to go through here and very quickly determine what size they are and be able to sort them based on size. And we can really quickly check, see if they're the same size on both ends. And as you can see, you can go through and measure and sort like really quickly with this guy. But enough of that for right now. I need to actually sit down and do this for real. And again, you see it's got a little bit of drift to it. We'll re-zero it again. Now like it says on the packaging, the body of this guy is made of a carbon fiber reinforced uh, plastic. Probably nylon. I'm not entirely sure, but it's probably carbon fiber reinforced nylon. Which is slightly more durable than glass fiber reinforced plastics, but not by a whole lot really. And I've noticed that on Amazon, there's a couple different versions of these. The red ones all seem to be carbon fiber reinforced plastic. And the blue ones are just plain plastic. It doesn't seem to have any sort of fiber reinforcing at all. And the price difference is nothing, really. So I would definitely go for the red ones. I'll have a link for this one down below and also a link for a couple other different ones that are identical, uh, just in case this one's sold out. But you know, when you're buying cheap precision tools like this, you never know exactly how accurate they are, right? Well, there's one thing we can do. I've got a brand new gauge block here and we can test how accurate this thing really is. These gauge blocks are used by machinists to make sure everything is really precise. And it's a great way to validate if your cheap precision measurement tools are actually working or not. We want to make sure we keep this thing nice and clean so that it gives us accurate results. Now, I don't know if you can actually see on this guy, but it's actually laser engraved to be 0.2 inches. 
So let's measure this thing up and see what happens. 0 0.201. So that's only one thou of error. Let's do this a few times just to make sure. 0 0.201. Point two zero one again. Oh, it just went down just slightly. So right now you can see that we're getting about plus or minus one thou of error. You know, I don't know. You have to determine for yourself. That's big of a deal. It kind of isn't a big deal to me, especially with the sort of things I'm going to be measuring. It's going to be good enough. We'll see how it handles measuring some other things, huh? Point zero three eight, and it is a point zero three five feeler gauge. So. You know, I have no idea how accurate these feeler gauges are, to be honest. This one is a 0 .003. This is going to be a challenge for it, I believe. Whoa, 0 .003. It actually measured that accurately. Interesting. Let's try that again. Went back to zero. 0 .003. Well, I'm impressed. So this one is 13 thou. It reads it as 14. I think that's our plus or minus 1,000 we were seeing again. Well, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think something like this would actually be useful to you or not. I mean, it seems accurate enough, and I really like the way you just push this lever down and it snaps onto the part you're trying to measure. Like I said, if anything, I'm going to get a lot of use out of it just measuring valve shims. And again, it was only 10 bucks. You can't really beat that, so I'm going to call this a win. Bye, thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks again.